is a blue crab. It's by far Delaware's most important fishery species. It's not uncommon that the blue crab landings could be five or six times greater than all of the other fish species, the shellfish species landed in Delaware combined. But what makes it really unique is, unique from all other crab species, is that this is a swimming crab. As you can see here, it has paddles on its hind most, rearmost legs. In fact, its scientific name is Kalanictes sapidus. It means beautiful swimmer. These crabs are found wherever there's salty water in Delaware, from the mouth of Lewis all the way up to the fresh waters of Delaware River in, uh, at the Delaware Memorial Bridge. They live on the sea bottom. They're so abundant that they're very important to the ecosystem. They eat just about anything that their sharp claws can shred apart. And when they're small, they're a very important prey item for a whole list of fish and bird species. They reproduce quite prolifically. A female can produce a million, well over a million eggs per spawn and do that multiple times in a year. They do have a short lifespan though. They only live about three years. The females will actually stop growing when they reach maturity. In the summertime, most of the crabs you're eating at the restaurant are males. They're preferred because they do get larger. So these blue crabs are uh, invertebrates. They have no bones. They have an exoskeleton shell. So in order for them to grow, they have to shed their shell and they'll become soft and then they'll get big, they'll expand and then regrow their shell uh, and then once they've enlarged. If you've ever eaten soft shell crabs, that is when the, sh the crab has, is in between its, its, its hard shells, it's when, it's starting to grow, when it's in that growing process. This is what these guys are doing back here. They're catching crabs that are just about to shed their shell because they get more money for the soft shell uh, crab.